bring yourself to the seat that you know you'll be able to sustain over this practice. That means that you're forward in your chair if you're seated. If you're on the floor in cross-legged lotus, you want your knees to be lower than your hips. Your spine is tall, dignified position. And that's where the effort is in the, in the spine, in the back. The front body is softer. The belly relaxes. The crown of the head strives toward the sky, toward the light. The shoulders relax, drop away from the ears and the sides of the neck get longer. And you feel the back of the neck get longer. And you sense the contact of your pelvis in the chair. Your feet are flat on the floor, hip distance apart, unless you're lying down or you're sitting in lotus. And your hands come to rest on your thighs, palms down, or if you prefer, palms half open or facing up, it's up to you. And remember, there's no right way, there's no wrong way. This is your practice, and this is for you, about you. I'm giving you suggestions as to how the traditional practice works. Just begin to notice who the person is that you are inhabiting this morning. What is this body that we just organized for meditation? What is going on? And as you begin to intentionally pay attention to yourself, your eyes may begin to close if they haven't already. And if you don't want to close your eyes, that's perfectly fine. But we suggest that you pick a place, you lower your gaze slightly, maybe 45 degrees down, and you pick a place to focus on. Not stare, but just gaze and allow the peripheral vision to remain active as you stare as you I'd rather as you gaze and just take an assessment in this moment of who's here and bring your attention to your breathing just sense the in and the out there's nothing to do nothing to change just notice become a scientist of yourself, observe, be aware. And just breathe in and breathe out. Keep that as your focus. The out breath and the in breath. And the out breath and the in breath. And see if you can actually notice the qualities of the out breath as opposed to the in breath. Is there a difference? And since we're going to be focusing our attention on the soundscape today, See if you can hear the breath. Is the breath 
making a sound or many sounds or any sound at all. Maybe it isn't. Maybe your breath is so quiet this morning that there's no sound at all. And notice, if you will, where is the breath in the body? Can you feel it in your belly? Can you feel it in your chest, your shoulders, your toes? Where is it? As you relax into your mindful meditation position and you feel secure there, I'm going to talk about mindfulness a little bit before we get into the sound. Historically, mindfulness meditation itself is a secular practice. It comes from Buddhism, which is more than 2,500 years old. And it was the foundational or is the foundational practice of Buddhism. Mindfulness itself can be defined as learning to bring our attention to the present moment and simply seeing what arises without bias or judgment. I'll say that again. Mindfulness itself is learning to bring our attention to the present moment and simply seeing, noticing, watching what arises without any bias or judgment. And meditation itself can be defined as the act, the physical act of practicing mindfulness. You're sitting in a seat still. And as Thich Nhat Hanh says, it's stilling the body first that helps to still the mind. So we sit in a prescribed way to still the body, but it's wakeful. It's not falling asleep. So with that in mind, let's take a couple of more minutes and just sense yourself physically and perhaps notice whatever sounds there might be present in your body and your mind. <laughs> is, your, is your mind making a lot of noise right now? <laughs> and return to the breath. 
And sense yourself as a tree. The spine is the trunk of the tree, the torso, the head and is is the where the branches and the leaves are growing up toward the sky, striving toward the light as nature does strive toward the light. The leaves looking up and the lower limbs are the roots of the tree. Your legs and calves and knee uh, toes and ankles grow into the earth and you're being fed and nourished. And as you breathe in, you're taking in oxygen. And as you breathe out, you're letting out the carbon dioxide, the dark, stale energy that we don't need in the body. It's the oxygen that we want. So take a few minutes to be with yourself in this position and mindful of what arises. And if the thoughts are very busy, just allow them, notice them, label them if you can, and come back to the breath. Oh, thinking. Okay, back to my breath. The in and the out. And you might be aware of any sounds. What comes through sound as you do this mindful sitting in meditation?
Every so often, check in with yourself. Have you slumped in your chair? Are your shoulders leaning forward? Is your head dropping? Just check your position and mindfully readjust. And continue to intentionally not just watch the breath, but feel and sense the sound that might be coming to your ears. Sounds in your body, sounds in the air, in the environment, in our minds, even listening. Does listening have a sound? And what about the absence of sound? Just notice, mindfully aware of whatever arises. Always returning to the intentional focus on your breath, traveling in and out of the nostrils.
were simply paying attention on purpose without any judgment to what is here in this moment to be heard. When we listen, what do we hear? Is sound a feeling? Is sound a thought, a sensation? Is it all of those things? And do we hear before we listen? And do we really listen when we hear something? Are you present to that quality of the hearing, of the sensing, of the sound? So keep this fairly general for the moment and just notice the body sounds, do your thoughts have a sound? Is there sound around you? Are they pleasant? Unpleasant? Annoying? Oh, and are you bored with this already? Do you just want to say, what am I doing here? And that's when you simply come back to the breath, the in, and the out and continue to observe, to be your own research subject. What is going on? Where am I? And what do I hear? Just let yourself go and always return to the focus on your breathing, the in and the out, emptying your mind, emptying all the space around you, just being present and conscious to your life force, your breathing in and out and in and out. So continue to practice.
in our final moments of practice today, be aware of how, what you've learned about listening and hearing yourself. And be aware that you can take this quality with you into the world. Being aware of what sounds are coming toward you in any given moment, a happy moment, an angry moment, a vengeful moment, a neutral moment. What sounds, what quality of hearing can you bring to every moment? And how will that impact the experience that you have, whether it's a challenge in your body of pain and discomfort, or whether it's a person or an, uh, uh, an actual sound, a horn or uh, a siren, how that impacts you and where you feel it in your body. and how you can mindfully, simply take a breath in, let it go out, take another breath in, let it out, and experience the stillness of mindfulness in that given moment. As we always do, we thank ourselves first. It is to ourselves we must listen first. And we thank ourselves for the stillness that we were able to achieve. And thank your mind and your body for what they were offering you today, whatever you found. And treasure your spirit for its willingness. And in the Buddha's practice of metta, which is loving kindness, first toward yourself, You might repeat after me silently. May I be filled with loving kindness wherever I go today. May I be free from fear and suffering wherever I go today. May I be safe and free from danger wherever I go today. May I be healthy and whole to whatever degree possible. May I be happy. May I be peaceful and at ease. And we offer this not only to ourselves, but out into the world, to our close in circle first, then the larger world, then your city, your state, your country, the planet, nature, the rivers, the trees, the waters, the mountains, the solar system, the miraculousness.
May all creatures and things be filled with loving kindness and free from suffering. And take this with you into your the rest of your day, your week, and know that at any moment you can touch mindfulness. Stop, take a breath, and bring yourself to presence. And when you hear the sound of the bells, allow yourself to luxuriate with the sound and the sound is the call to meditative mindfulness. Namaste.